Oh shit, now what's going on? Boom boom. Chapter 2. We made it to chapter 2. Hope. Okay. I really don't know what's going to go on. Alright. Back at home. Back at base. Another day, another morning. I woke from dreams filled with fire and smoke. The sun shining through the window gave me a comforting feeling of familiarity, despite the portal in the distance reminding me of my purpose here. I looked toward the horizon, my view undisturbed by dividing walls. The light of the morning sun was painting the sky with golden hues, a view that had become a rarity back home. It evoked a feeling of freedom and openness that was almost scary to me. While I got ready for the day, my thoughts strayed to the people I knew back home. I couldn't help but wonder how they were doing. But I had greater things to worry about at the moment, like Reza, murders and generators. How much danger was I in, really? Dunno, ding dong though, who's at the door? Yo, Ushio, what's up? Yay, yeah, Bryce, how's it going? Hey, Chief. More bad news? Not quite, unless you count Reza still missing as bad news. That's kind of why I'm here. What's up? Just some good old-fashioned police work. I'm counting on your help again, really? Uh, sure, sign me up. Great, let's go. We obtained a list of places Reza visited in the days before he vanished. We'll check those out, maybe find a lead, and you might help us understand his motivations or give us some context to his actions. Alright, let's try. I'm sure you do a great job. Alright, no problem. That is reassuring though. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. There's a couple places we can check out. Let's see, where should we go first? While Bryce focused on his list, I saw someone approach out of the corner of my eye. Who's that? A closer look revealed that it was Sebastian, waving his arm in an attempt to get our attention as he ran towards us. His face grave. What's he gonna say? I'm looking for you. What's... No, this could be bad. Alright, what's up? What are you doing? Don't tell me there's another dead person. Sorry. Oh, what the fuck? Alright. I guess it's gonna be one of those days. Yeah, looks that way. Someone else can take care of that today. We've got other plans. You'll need to sign off on a few things at least. Oh no. But we'll go to the crime scene, sign a few forms, and then we're out. Why? Why is there so many kiddings? Alright, we arrived at the scene. I saw the poor victim next to one of the houses. The obligatory sheet was draped over him, providing a modicum of discretion, but did nothing to hide the crime that had occurred. Alright, give me the story. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. The wounds match those of the last victim, so a similar, if not identical, murder weapon is likely. The victim, maintenance person for this area, and the electricity is out. The power goes out, maintenance guy shows up and is killed before he can fix the problem. At least that's my theory. So the power for the whole block's still out. That's correct. But should, we should get that fixed as soon as possible. We don't need civilians showing up here, complaining about sitting in the dark. Good point. Alright, Bryce's snout wrinkled with distaste as he glanced over Sebastian's shoulder. Not again, what's that? Oh, here he is! What are you doing in Maverick? Second victim, yeah? This is an official investigation, so you better not cross that police line. Shunned by my own colleagues, this is ridiculous. Dude, you're on a paid leave. Make the most of it, go on holiday or something. You know how it is, rules are rules, and without rules, murders like this one would be allowed to happen and go unpunished. Yeah, have your fun without me then, yeah. Get out, bye. What do you think he wanted, Chief? That one's easy, to do his own investigation just like he said he would. I shouldn't be surprised that he showed up, but I guess we're lucky we arrived before he did. Alright, we better check out that power outage though. Of course, I saw the door to the maintenance room is right around here. Oh, let's go in. It's kind of spooky. You got your flashlight though, Seb. As always. Alright, go first. I ain't, I ain't got my shit on me. Alright, besides, putting on that head mount is such a hassle. I remember, you complain about it every time it comes up. Okay, that should do the trick. Oh yeah, it's so bright and pretty. I can't see shit. Stay behind me, Ushio. Yeah, I hear ya. No problem. I hate the stairs, especially those made for smaller dragons like you. Yeah, you gotta kinda tiptoe your way up. Trust me, having it the other way around isn't too great either. Uh, Say nothing. I'm not getting involved in that one. 
Okay, this kind of reminds me when we found that underground base or whatever it was. Do you remember that, Chief? How could I not? It wasn't that long ago. Okay. We're working our way. Are we going up or down? Underground. Underground base. Yeah. The portal wasn't the only place of ancient technology that we found. There was also this whole lab near it. it seemed to have some high-tech stuff in there. At least that place didn't have as many stairs. Wait. So you not only found the portal, but a whole facility along with it? Yeah, but we're not sure how much the two are actually related. Okay, this is a long staircase. We spent all that time studying the portal and barely got anywhere with it. This stuff is just beyond what we know. Here we are. Okay. It's all dark and spooky and shit. <laughs> Come on, turn these lights on! Okay, what are we looking for exactly? Whatever's causing the power outage. If we don't find the cause, we should at least be able to get the backup running. Okay, what's that? Looks like the generator's gone. Mystery solved. The sound of creaking metal penetrated the stillness of the room. What is that creaking noise? I looked above toward the source of the noise as it grew louder, and the next instant I was pushed sideways and fell to the ground. I barely avoided the giant light fixture that fell from the ceiling and shattered into countless pieces alongside me. Yo, are you good? The next thing I saw was a hooded figure standing above me, barely visible against the darkness that permeated the room. What the fuck? Who this? Okay, so there's some dude in a cloak. Uh... Wearing a mask. Humanoid, p potentially. I'm not even sure. The figure crouched down next to me. Its mask hovering right in front of my face. Merely a whisper reached my ears when it spoke. Be careful. Then the figure dashed toward the stairs. Alright, where are you going, mate? Alright, that's not me. Don't move. He's going up the stairs. On it. Alright, go. Off he goes. I didn't see that chair coming. Alright. I can't see a damn thing. Your flashlight sucks. Alright. Buck in the way. Like, these guys can't get up there. There's no room. You're just as wide as the stairs are. I can't help it, though. Go, make a move. If you're gonna go, go. Alright, we'll never catch him now. Alright. Undone. He got away. They got away. Whoever it was. By the time we found our way back up, the mysterious figure was nowhere to be found. Shock. Horror. We've got a long search ahead of us. And with a head start like that, there might be no end to it. We have to take our chances as long as we still can. It's that that chance is growing smaller and smaller while we wait for the team to arrive. What even happened down there? Right, tell us everything in as much detail as you can. There wasn't much to it. I heard a noise, looked up, the light fixture came down, and then someone pushed me. You mean Reza? Was that him? I don't think that was him. What makes you say that? I don't know. Whoever it was was wearing a mask. It bloody well can't be someone else, so let's not kid ourselves here. Why would he wear that whole get up then? It's uh Yeah, they know there's only two humans here, so if it isn't me, it's blatantly gonna be him, so it's obvious who it is. Camouflage? Protection. Don't know about that, but who knows? I don't know. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Your early theory about what happened was pretty sound, Sebastian. Let's go with that and add a bit about the generator being stolen. So, the question is, who has the motive for stealing a generator? Uh, yeah, Reza. Right, who else would need to steal a generator when those who live here could either buy it or simply request one? Not to mention, Reza's the one who arranged the diplomatic trade for the generators in the first place. I can't deny the fact that your generators are pretty important to us, but resorting to murder? We all saw the human figure running away. Yeah, but he was... maybe it was a dragon in disguise. Why would he have stayed if he stole it? There you go. Why would he remain here if he was the one who stole it? The generator was already gone when we got there, and the person in question wasn't carrying it either. Perhaps this is a case where the criminal has returned to the crime scene. Oh yeah, that's too convenient. For this kind of crime, I'd say no, but who knows, maybe our rules just don't apply anymore. 
What do you mean? No offence, but ever since you two humans arrived there have been a lot of strange things going on. This place used to be a quiet town. Hmm. So you think it was Riza? Honestly, things aren't looking great for him right now. It's still our top priority to find him. And after what we've seen here today, I'm not sure what will happen when we do. I just don't want to give you any false hope, you know. Gotcha. I don't know the crime rules in this place. Do they have like a capital punishment? They're going to execute the guy or arrest him or in jail? I don't know. Maybe we should just focus on finding him and point fingers later. Agreed. There are two dead people though. That, that does need to be, you know, addressed. The police team will be here any minute now. You don't have to get involved with the search, but that doesn't mean you can't help us. What do you want me to do? We still have a list of places we're going to check out. We can't go now. The search takes priority. Of course we'll still check out those places after we're done. But if you go on your own, you can speed up the process. You could even find us a lead. Who knows? Uh, Sure, I guess so. Why not? Great. You still trust me? You know, here's the list. Okay, considering your status, you shouldn't have any trouble in these places. But if anything happens, call me and I'll check up on you later. I'm going by myself? What? All of us are going to be busy with the search. We can't really afford to spare someone right now. You'll be fine. Aren't you worried I'll do something fishy? I mean, isn't that why Reza and I were assigned police escorts in the first place? Yeah, that policy was mostly Maverick's fault, and he's out of the picture. With my authority as chief, I say you can go alone. Cheers, that's a cool thing to do. I already know where you're going, and besides, I trust you. If you were in cahoots with Reza, you would run off with him when you had the chance. That's a fair point. Okay, team is approaching. I guess you should get going. Alright, laters. Bye. Okay, where are we now? It was a relief to leave the crime scene considering all that happened. When I reached into my pocket and took out the list however, I found something unexpected. It was a small piece of paper with the word Tatsu written on it. How did that get there? What, this guy? Dropped it in? My earlier encounter with the masked person was the only time today someone was close enough to smuggle something into my pocket. I figured if someone like Bryce tried to do something like that, I definitely would have noticed. As for Tatsu, the only th related thing I could think of was Tatsu Park, which I come across when I went to the police station the other day. Even if that park was the place the mysterious paper referred to, I didn't know if that was actually a good idea to visit. The masked person may have saved me from the falling light fixture, but if that was Reza, it would mean following someone who was the prime suspect of two murders. I also had to consider the list of places Reza had been to, a local grocery store, the production facility we had visited and the library were the three places closest to here. It certainly was going to be a busy day and I know I wouldn't have time to visit all of them. Okay, where shall I go? We went to the library just now, a uh, production facility and the grocery store. Let's try production facility, that sounds weird. I don't want to go to the park, that sounds like bad news. Reza was allegedly here at some point. Maybe I should ask Anna. Uh, I don't like Anna though. She wanted my blood and I said no. Hello? Yo, what's up? Anybody here? Who's this? Dude, cover yourself. <laughs> Can I help you? I was just looking for Anna. This is her lab, right? Why don't I ever get any recognition? This is my lab as much as it is hers. Either way, Anna's not here. Would that be all? Since you work here, maybe you can help me instead? Maybe? Of course, your precious Anna isn't here, so you'll have to settle for me. I see how it is. It's not what I meant, dude. <laughs> of course, get it over with. You can start by telling me who you are. Here's the short version. My name is Damien. I work in this facility, and I'm fortunate enough to live with the nightmare of having to deal with Anna on a daily basis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Ushio, and you are... You don't know who I am? Of course I know who you are, but your assumption validated the point I was going to make. You see, the whole thing about you coming here has been blown out of proportion. It's like some huge event that everyone should be celebrating. Newsflash. Not everyone cares. And once both of you are gone, life will return to normal and we can all go back to what we actually should be doing. I imagine a lot of it has to do with those human myths you have. I can only reiterate, not everyone cares. What exactly did you want? Uh, da 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 da. Has Reza been here recently? Do you know about anything about his visits? 
I've seen him a few times, he'd come by to ask about the progress of the generators. There was this one time Anna told him she'd have news, but when he came over she just wanted to run tests on him. Did he go through with it? No, he wanted some compensation I suppose. Nothing she could offer satisfied him, however, and that was that. What kind of research are you doing? We're not going to talk about Anna, because that's obviously a, a, a soft subject. So we, yeah. What kind of research are you doing? Nothing special, and then she care a lot about genetics. And we're not talking about the basics here, this is the deep stuff. You can at least tell me a little bit more than that. Okay, I don't, yeah, that's all. Thanks for your help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, I've got more time. Where should I go next? Uh, Visit the grocery store? Or the park? Grocery store. I'm staying on script. If I go where Bryce has told me to not, he will get pissed at me. I entered the store. The sound of the bell alerting the staff of my arrival. Seeing the patrons browsing the shelves neatly stocked with wares of all kinds evokes some feelings of nostalgia and normalcy for me. This must be the store Reese has been shopping at. Who dis? At least this one's got their crotch covered. <laughs> okay, who's he talking to? Yo, I think I've seen her before. Oh, she was the running one. I'm oh, sorry, this prescription has expired. Oh, I can't fit it like this. You need to tell your parents to visit the doctor so he can write you a new one. Okay, bye. She turned around, nearly running to me, and she suddenly bolted toward the door. Hello, Ushio. How can I help you? This guy knows my name. This guy knows what's up. Alright. How could I not? Everyone knows about you. How can I help you? What's your name then? I'm not going to call you Store Clark. Uh, do you remember Reza coming here? Of course. It's only been a few days since he was last here. This will sound a little unusual, but can you tell me what he bought? Are you just talking about last time or every time? I don't know. Both. He came in more than once. He's been visiting us pretty regularly now I think about it. Hmm. I can look up his purchases if you like. That'd be helpful. Sweet. Shouldn't be too hard. Give me a sec. Give me them receipts. I watched him carefully navigate the register's buttons, soon followed by the sound of the attached printer. Here you go. Receipts from all his purchases. Wow, that's efficient. Alright, that was easy. Since our government takes care of all his purchases, they're filed separately. It was simple to pull them up. Sweet. Looks like he mostly bought food and snacks, sometimes magazines. But why was he buying lemons every single time? Because he's a bitter person. I can't say I didn't notice, but I figured it was just a human thing. Strange. In any case, that's more information than I expected. You got my thanks. You're welcome to it. Uh, Who is that? That's Vara. She comes here occasionally to pick up her mother's prescription. Okay, that was Vara then. Okay. I'm browsing. Let me know if you need anything. Let's do some shopping. What am I even looking for? I don't know. Let's look at the bread. they got a surprisingly big selection. Since when do dragons eat bread anyway? I guess at least I'm covered in case I want any melon bread. Hey you, Athenia? Who dis? You got a box on your head. Alright, you talking to me? Yeah, what do you say? Melon bread or lemon bread? I mean, the only difference between the two is like one letter. So how am I supposed to choose? I don't think that's how it works though. Alright. Go with the one you, you like more. That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Wow. She... She's weird. Okay. Was that a cardboard box on her head? Yeah, it was. Okay. Look at the produce. What you got? I don't even recognise some of these. Okay. That was useful. Look at the meat. Lots and lots of meat. What kind of meat? Fresh meat, smoked meat, cured meat, dried meat, prepackaged meat, prepared meat, ready to eat meat, meat snacks, burgers, kebab, nuggets, whole hams, bacon, meatloaf, sausages... Oh, I should have taken a deep breath before I started. And that's not even all of it. Needed to say they have that area covered. Okay. The health aisle. Everything from food supplements to skincare and even birth control. I've got questions. The, the variance in product sizes is astounding. Especially when talking about birth control. <laughs> I don't need to know. Okay, I think these ones could fit on my arm. Oh my word. Okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Enough browsing. I should go back to what I came here for. You did everything the store has to offer. Sweet, I've got a, I've got an achievement for that. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Layers. That's all I can do here. I'm gone. I'm gone. The afternoon sun hung low in the sky. 
and I decided it was time to report my findings to the police. A brief call to the department and I was on my way to an appointment with Sebastian. I'm not sure how my findings will help, but at least I have something. Yeah, the, the receipts were good. I'm not sure about the other one. Look who we have here. Yo, yo, Maverick, what's up? His intense gaze confirmed that there was no one else his words could have been directed at. Mm. Even with the civilians passing by in the background, I suddenly felt very alone. Alright, what do you want? Answers. Yo, what's up? Okay, start talking. I don't mind. Nothing to hide, mate. Just tell me one thing. Why? Why what? What is your goal? Why even come here? Oh, I don't know. You know why. No, no, that won't do. I'm the ambassador. Come on, that's simply not true. You know it, and I know it. I just don't get why you can't be honest with me, even when you know no one else is listening. You know I can't touch you. If I did, it would be over for me. At least, as long as I don't have any proof. Don't fabricate proof on me. Uh, okay. In the end, what difference does it make if I know? No one's going to believe me anyway. Do you wish to kill me too? What? I'd never do it, mate. I'm peace loving. Is that so? Yep. Tell me, why would an ambassador need such a dangerous tool in the first place? I know you claim not to have one of these things Reza injured me with, and you didn't have one any when they searched you, but I guess it's way too late for safety precautions at this point. You could have hidden one anywhere. That hurt, you know. Well, yeah, you got shot. But even worse than that was getting thrown aside by Bryce. I trust him, and after what happened, he doesn't trust me. Now, there's only you, the mythical, the special, the new. How much I wish I could make him see what I see. I could have saved the world with what I did that day, and it still wouldn't matter when no one believes me, just because I don't have proof. But I won't stop until I find some. Hmm, when I do, I'm going to be a damn hero. This guy is either deluded or he's onto something. I don't know, mate. I don't know. <laughs> and with that, he was gone. On the way to the police station, Maverick's words kept finding their way into the back of my mind. I couldn't decide how to feel about them. I wasn't even sure if it was worth mentioning to the police, since all he did was make vague accusations. It wasn't anything substantial enough to be considered a threat. However, his actions were growing more calculated, and he seemed very sure of himself. I wondered about what this could amount to, but that wasn't the problem at hand. Mm-hmm. Now where are we? This police HQ. There we go. Yo, wish yo, what's up? Yo, Sebastian. I thought I'd meet you at the front desk, but what are we doing in Bryce's office? He does have a nice office though, doesn't he? And the chairs are comfy. How do you sit on that with your tail? I, I need to see the pictures. Okay, is that the only reason we're in here? The dragon gave a brief chuckle. Like the Chaos Emeralds. Alright, let's just say that any information pertaining to this case is important enough to warrant some privacy. Gotcha. Will Bryce be here anytime soon? Maybe? I don't think so. He's still outside looking for Reza. He's not the kind of person who gives up easily. Okay, can we help? There's only so much we can do. I was out searching too until I came to meet you. At this rate, it doesn't look like we'll find him today. He could be anywhere, long gone, beyond our reach. What do you think? Hmm, I don't think he's going anywhere. He can't flee to another place. No matter where he goes, he'd be recognised immediately. In the end, his only way out is the same way he got in, the portal. And he can't use that without someone noticing. Very astute observation. Yeah, that's right. I wonder what will happen to our trade agreement now, considering Reza's still missing, the murders and the stolen generator. If Reza really is the murderer... Yeah, don't do that. What? Worry. What? You don't know what's at stake. <laughs> People are dead. Don't you, don't you think I know that? It's true. Reza may be our prime suspect. But he's also a missing person. For all we know, he could be a victim. Maybe someone is making him do this. My point is, we don't know the facts yet. What we need to do is find him and find the murderer. We'll find Reza and we'll go from there. We'll figure it out. Cheers, Sebastian. You're a cool dude. Alright, anyway, you got some information for us. What did you find? Not a lot, but I got the receipts. The receipts you got interesting. There might be something more to them. Or it could just be a useless record of his eating habits. You never know what you might find out about a person, their habits or their plans this way. I'm not sure if there's anything special about Anna wanting Reza's blood. I mean, she is a scientist, so it's natural that she'd be interested in something like that. We'll have to talk to her about it though. Maybe she has more details for us. Well done, that gives us some solid points from which we can continue our investigation. Cool. 
good stuff. In any case, thanks for your help, we appreciate it. No problem, that should be all. Since Bryce hasn't come back yet, I assume the search is still going on. I'd better get out there and help him. Guess it's going to be a long day. Can you find your way back to your apartment? No problem. Alright, laters. Good luck. <laughs>